Yeah, I think it's been addressed in the next episode. It's the next one. Just a bit, yeah. yeah. So See, I don't know Friday shooting one day to the next. It's yeah, he well. works like 20, uh, just unbelievable 20 hour days. and it's unbelievable. Both of these guys. Yeah. How now we're five hour days. So. Well, how many episodes do <laughs> we have left uh, for the rest of the season? Is there like two or three? We just wrapped yesterday, and yeah, we have three more episodes to show. Okay, so where, what are we going to see in the next three episodes in terms of this evolution and what's going on? Are they more standalones, or will there be yeah. more mythology driven? Well, no, they're more standalones because you have to understand that logistically we haven't been given a second season to pick up. And so, like, until as filmmakers, you know, and as television makers of television series, like, not really speak to Okay, uh, you know, we, we can't afford to start something that we're not going to be able to finish. It just wouldn't. Like, we're not prepared to do that, you know, and so until we get that pickup, we can't really do any arcs and we can't, you know, and so we've had to do four pretty much standalone episodes, but they're really good standalone episodes, and there is the arc that is, will always be there is the, is the arc between Nick and Beth, and so that sort of, that comes to a very interesting close, put a note at the end of four, three to sixteen. Uh, they killed off a lot of uh, your, your uh, close people and on the show, uh, Sophia. Yeah. yeah, and again, you, you know, the going really quickly, like I think by episode three, you're totally accepting that he's a vampire. And uh, it, it seems like a tricky thing, you know, having to, to take this person who's kind of hard news and kind of logical person and then have to be thrust into this world. And it must be an interesting dance as an actress of trying to, how much can you kind of accept and how much you kind of have to, you know, how weird yeah. this is. I think, you know, for Beth, and she's fallen in love with his soul, and I think the fact that he's a vampire is, you know, secondary to her, and, um, uh, you know, but I actually think when he gets his contacts in the fangs, I always find him more, more sexy in that look, so <laughs> 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 uh, Yeah, she always makes passes at me once I come out of makeup, and I'm kind of ready to go, I'm ready to go, and she's sort of leaning in the trail, like, hey, Alex, what you doing? And I'm like, what you going to do? Throughout the 12 episodes, the, 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 the Mortal Coil, or I forget what the, the title of that one, right before this one just aired. Mortal Coil. Mortal Coil. There was in a lot of the procedural stuff, and I know CBS loves the procedurals. You know, they like to have these standalone things, but, but I think that genre fans, I'm sure you guys agree, that you know, the, the driven mythology is the stuff that really makes these shows uh, work. So I'm curious, what, what, what do you, which do you think works best for the show, in your own opinion, and uh, some of your favorite episodes? I wanted to say real quick that I think Alex kind of introduced the idea of the bloodlines and that sort of thing, which I think is some of the most interesting stuff in the story. And you'll see more of that coming up. We have like, in the last episode we have like a vampire conference, and we kind of get together and uh, there's a problem that comes up that kind of threatens the survival of the vampires, and they kind of all deal with it their different ways from their different levels in the social spectrum or whatever. And so you'll see some interesting stuff coming up on that. But I, I like the vampire stuff when it gets into that. But he's so good at the procedural stuff and I think that's a good through line for the show. But every time we get away into the bloodlines and that sort of thing, I think it's very interesting. How's your new boss? At, uh, you're going to have a new boss at Buzz and Wine now, right? Is that Buzz, well, yeah, Buzz I, 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 think. I get a new, well I have a new boss, but she leaves. Um, because the buzzword becomes very tabloidy, but like an TNZ thing, and Beth's not interested in any of that sort of stuff. So um, she's more interested in hard hitting journalism, and um, she gets offered a, a new job quite soon. So, yeah. Very cool. I want to take some uh, questions from the audience now. So, um